Yesterday in Washington, Federal Reserve Chief Ben Bernanke testified before the House Budget Committee about the state of the U.S. economy. He appeared to paint a mixed picture of the financial situation, telling committee members that the budget seems to be on an unsustainable path and that the gross domestic product is growing at a rate only slightly faster than what's needed to sustain job growth. But he also noted that on the positive side, international markets seem to have stabilized in the weeks since the European debt crises. Wisconsin Congressman Paul Ryan of Janesville is the ranking Republican member of the committee and an outspoken critic of the Obama administration's fiscal policy. Lake Effect's Mitch Tyke reached him between floor votes yesterday and first asked his assessment of Ben Bernanke's testimony. Basically what the chairman said during his testimony and our conversation before the hearing is, you know, he thinks that Europe uh, appears to be getting a situation under control, uh, albeit it's a fairly temporary uh, control. There's a lot that is, remains to be seen. Um, what he basically said, though, for America is that we have our budget on an unsustainable course. The sooner we can put in place a plan to get us off this unsustainable course, the better off we will be not only in the future but in, in the immediate term as well. Uh, if we put in place a plan to get our budget balanced, to get our debt paid off, to reform our entitlement programs, all the better for keeping interest rates low, keeping tax rates low, getting economic growth going now and obviously into the future. So basically what the chairman said was if we want to – get ahead of this problem, unlike Europe, we need to preempt a debt crisis in America by getting in place better fiscal reforms so that we don't have the kinds of ugly austerity plans they're having to put in place right now. Uh, well, let me uh, let me throw this question at you, because obviously uh, the, the elections are coming up. And uh, so then what is the case you think uh, Republicans have to make this fall in terms of, uh, of how you would govern differently than uh, than the president and uh, what the what the Democrat controlled Congress is doing well, at this point? I, I view um, my party, the Republican Party, not just as the opposition party, but the alternative party. And we need to give people an alternative. Uh, how would we do things differently? Number one, the spending spree has got to stop. Uh, all of this deficit spending, this incredible increase in debt and deficits, has got to be reversed. If we don't watch it, we're going to have our own European-style debt crisis. And that's why, when you take a look at the budget that the Democrats passed that we're living under right now, it doubles the debt in five years and triples it in ten years. We're going to have to reverse that. The other part is... Um, we're finding out that we're not cre- creating all these jobs that we thought we'd create with all this borrowed money. So every time you see more spending out of Washington, remember that's all on borrowed money. It puts pressure on bond markets, on interest rates, and it hastens the moment where, where we're finding and facing our own kind of a debt crisis. And so we've got to get our handle on our fiscal situation. What we need to show people is how we would have a fiscal roadmap that would put us in a different direction and get this economy growing again. He's given us economic projections, which are really kind of low. If without the government jobs that have been created, the private sector jobs are not near enough what we need to get people back to work. And so that's why we need pro-growth economic policies, lower taxes, less spending, showing that we're getting our debt and deficit under control, showing small businesses that it's okay to come out of your hole and invest, that you have a certain future uh, so that you can make good decisions going forward. The problem is right now, Uh, The party in charge is hitting the small businesses with big tax increases next year, more uncertainty with all the borrowing, which gives uncertainty on interest rates. And that is why you're seeing a lot of holdback on private sector jobs and only government jobs being created. When the fiscal crisis first started coming down, it seems like there was this general sense that Washington was too close to Wall Street. And and at the time, it was a Republican in the White House and Republicans in control of the Senate. First of all, uh, are you sensitive to that criticism? And and secondly, what is the case that you make to Americans that if they return Republicans to control of Congress, it won't simply be a a steward of Wall Street's interests? Well, I think there's some legitimate criticism there. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac blew up on a Republican's watch. Uh, Republicans failed to rein in Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Uh, You know, obviously, I was pushing for those for those two to be reined in. There are a lot of us who fought uh, some of the excesses. What we need to show people is that we've learned our lessons, that we won't repeat the mistakes that were made in the past. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty. But going forward, you know, I worry that this new financial regulatory reform bill that's moving through Congress amplifies the too-big-to-fail doctrine, creates a new system of crony capitalism, sort of replace, replaces the casino capitalism we had in Wall Street over the last few years, but gives us more of a crony capitalism system whereby we're We're giving the large banks and large interconnected financial institutions the leg up on their smaller competitors. And so I fear that we're going in the wrong direction now. And what's most important is if if, if power changes hands in Washington, at least in Congress, is that we don't make the mistakes we made the last time we were in the majority. We learn from those mistakes, and we make sure that we have real financial regulatory reform so that 
the people who take the risks in the market bear the risks, not the taxpayers. That's point number one. Point number two is we get our fiscal situ- situation under control so we don't have a debt crisis of our own making. Is there anything that you think either the, the Obama administration or the Democrat-controlled Congress deserves positive credit for in the last 18 months? Well, I've been very frustrated with the, the overall direction. From the economy, I would say no, because what's occurred as an unprecedented level of borrowing, $1.8 trillion in new spending, huge increases for government agency budgets, $670 billion in new tax increases, which are going to hit the economy in a very hard way, especially on investment in businesses and on small businesses themselves. That is not the right direction to go. So, you know, whereas the president, I think some people would commend him on his handling of Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, I think what really matters the most these days are jobs and the economy, and in fact, this Congress administration is, in my opinion, going the exact opposite direction we ought to be going to create jobs. Well, Congressman Paul Ryan, I uh, hope we can have you in the studio when you're back in, uh, in Wisconsin, but thanks so much for spending some time with us by phone. Hey, great. Nice to be with you. Republican Paul Ryan is the congressman representing Wisconsin's first congressional district and the ranking Republican member of the House Budget Committee.